Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Today I thought we would talk a little bit about steering geometry. Um, and that's because of the video that we put out yesterday where we see the Gamma vehicle driving around in San Diego. And so I want to go this frame by frame. So you see here, um, the back of these wheel covers are quite low to the ground. And it's not as obvious, but the front of the this wheel cover is also quite low to the ground. And it's not as obvious in the front because the front of the wheel pants is not that far from the wheel, whereas the rear of the wheel pants is quite far. So any deviation, any change in angle here will have a more pronounced effect on the rear of the wheel pants than on the front of the wheel pants. But there's a change in this angle that the uh, wheel pants sit. It has to do with the steering geometry. So here, I'm going to back this up. So you see here, these this back of the wheel cover is very close to the ground and this front is very close to the ground but it's not as obvious but watch this front as this wheel straightens up you will see that this rear part lifts up and this part lifts up and this part comes down so let's go forward so here it is straightening up as it straightens right here you see right there it's very clear that the 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 rear of the of this tire is coming up and you'll see this watch the space in here so very little space there okay so it's very close to the ground here and as you come up you see that gap opening up and i think if the if the vehicle were to turn the other way so now you see there's much more space in the front here this has evened out and looks much more even. If if the vehicle were to turn the opposite way, you'll see the rear of this thing dip and the front of this wheel pants dip down. But of course, we never see it make that turn. Again, we see it make a turn to the left. And again, you will see this dip down and the back of this dip down. Yeah, you see, see, this is nosing down and this is nosing up. Yep, so you'll see this is quite low to the ground. This is, uh, this is nose down and this is far up. As it straightens out, you'll see this back part come down. Uh, we don't it's not quite as obvious that back part coming down because it goes out of frame before it completes the turn okay so one of the things i love about running this channel is i learn a lot from you guys so a bunch of people noticed uh mentioned caster and camber so gary and glenn G GZ Narg, several other people, lots of people measured it. And some people talked about the Ackerman um, steering. So I'm not a suspension expert or anything. So I didn't know what these meant. Someone on Discord mentioned this video, which I think is excellent. You guys should tef definitely check out this video. If you're interested, if you want to learn a little about suspension geometry, XF Motorsports, suspension geometry. Uh, you should definitely check it out. Very well done. I think he does a great job of explaining it. Uh, made a lot of sense but m after uh reading these uh about so i knew about what camber was because camber is something that they talk about uh when you're getting wheel alignment so i'd heard of camber before but i would never heard of caster so camber is um this angle of the um wheel when you look at it from the front of the car so most cars run a little bit of negative camber and that helps with handling and so there is a little bit of negative camber on this thing. And then caster is when the, uh, the upper ball joint is, is more rear than the lower ball joint so that the uh, steering angle is a little bit, um, so the, the point of the steering is a little bit in front of the point of the contact here. So this is positive caster and this is negative caster. All modern cars run positive caster. There's uh, basically not very many advantages to this and a lot of advantages to positive caster. So everyone runs positive caster and everyone runs a little bit of negative camber. 
and how much negative camber depends on what you're using your car for. So drag racing, where you don't have to turn and turning doesn't matter, they run zero or very little negative camber. And then um, you get progressively more camber as you do more aggressive uh, driving. And so, you know, if you do tracks, you, you won't run like negative three degrees camber. Uh, more uh, weekend canyon runs one to two degrees negative um, camber. Uh, but I believe that what's happening with the Aptera here has, is a function of actually something called kingpin inclination. Kingpin inclination has to do with how th the steering axis inclination is different than the actual center line of the tire. And that's because of the way that the tire geometry is. You can't put this into the tire. And this is maybe a little bit more true in the Aptera because there's a hub motor here. So the Aptera might have like a few inches more um, of the steering axis being outside the tire. So you need more kingpin inclination to reduce the scrubbing, uh, scrub radius. Um, so this kingpin inclination leads to a tilting. Uh, the caster, a combination of the caster and the kingpin inclination leads to a change in the angle of the wheel covers as the as the car steers. So if you have um, positive caster, uh, what, what you're gonna end up with is this thing where whenever you turn, the front of the uh, of the wheel pants will go down. So cast positive caster leads to no matter which way you turn, the front of it going down. But obviously, the front of it only goes down on the Aptera when it when the wheel is turning inward towards the center line. Uh, when it's turning away from the center line, what the left wheel was doing in that video, the front goes up and the rear cover goes down. And that's because of the kingpin inclination. If you lean it over, if you lean it over, you'll see as you rotate, the back will, will head down and then the front will head down as well. So uh, the combination of the positive caster and this kingpin inclination will tend to make the front go down more with turning, but the effect is more pronounced on the Aptera in the rear because the rear is so much longer, so a slight change in angle will become more apparent at the rear. So I think that this is something that, um, is not is is going to be a function. the The angle of this wheel cover is going to change with steering. It's just unavoidable with the way modern um, steering geometry works. And this effect will not affect the front as much because it's so close to the wheel, but it'll affect the rear a lot. So I suspect that the back of the wheel, by design, will get very close to the ground. And there's kind of no way around that without kind of tr you could trim this upward like this. And um, that is, uh, if you drive uneven ground, that is what's eventually going to happen. You're going to lose a little bit of this tip here, and um, it's going to grind away. A lot of people, um, I think, I think what Aptera might end up doing is offering like two different models of wheel covers because a lot of people seem very, very concerned about the uh, wheel covers. I don't like where I drive. The roads are quite good. There's almost no potholes. Roads are very smooth, and I want my wheel cover as low to the ground as possible. Um, but for people that uh, drive roads that are a little bit worse, they might want a little bit more uh, wheel cover clearance. Um, but this, the back of the wheel cover dropping down with turns is a result of this kingpin inclination um, in association with this positive uh, caster. Uh, but mostly due to the rear going down has mostly to do with this uh, kingpin inclination. Anyway, if you guys want to learn more, I highly recommend this video series by XF Motorsports. Um, and I think it's excellent. The guy does a great job, has a lot of um, little animations that show you what he means, and uh, I learned a lot. And so I, I would not have learned any of this without your comments about camber and caster. And I was like, oh, I know what camber is, and I don't see how that would change it. But caster, I never heard of that before, and it seems like it's a it's a combination of the caster and the kingpin inclination that's causing uh, this change in the angle of the Aptera's wheel pants with turning, which I think is something that they will they 
cannot design out of it. It is going to happen. And so that is um, that is what I think is going to happen, is that if you drive rough roads, the rear of this thing is going to... Um, is gonna get worn away a little bit, which I think um, is fine. All right, well, uh, more comments below. Maybe I'll learn some more things. Agree, disagree, maybe I don't understand this correctly. Uh, many of you guys probably work on suspension and know way more about it than I do. So please uh, educate me and the rest of us in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks uh, to our supporting members. Have a great day, everyone.